All right, so at the end of the last video, we created our opportunity and we see that the account notes and the opportunity notes were populated on our new opportunity. So that's great. Thinking all the way back to discovery and Pedro's requirements, we've handled two out of the three. The first one was that if you update the opportunity notes on a single opportunity, that update should go and update the notes field on every other opportunity. And we did that with our looping flow. The second requirement was that new opportunities should have both their account notes and their opportunity notes automatically populated when that new opportunity is first created. And we just built that and we tested that and we see it's working here. The third and the final requirement was that if the account notes are ever updated at the account level, that we want those changes to cascade down to every related opportunity on the account. And so you can see here that um, if I go to edge communications, and update uh, the account notes field. So I'll click on details and I'll change the account notes to say Edge was founded in 1998. And again, I'll just kind of copy the description and I'll say and is bait, oops, caps lock and my fingers were in the wrong place. <laughs> and is based in Austin, Texas. We'll add that in there to the account notes. If I save this, this account note will not go down to the opportunity, even if we refresh it. And the reason that's a uh, you know, a bit of a problem or, or could be problematic for the sales team is that the account notes field is used by everyone at Universal Containers. So if a service rep or, you know, another team member comes in here and updates these notes, and maybe it's something really important, uh, like the CEO just changed or, um, you know, something relevant that the sales team would see. If the sales team is relying only on this account notes field, then it would be very difficult. Like they wouldn't, they would miss that information. And so we are going to build a flow to handle that. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to go back to flows, which I have this tab open here. If you don't have that tab open, feel free to navigate to the flow builder and we are going to launch a new flow. So, um, when we think about what is changing and where it's changing, what object and what field are going to kick off uh, this flow. So I'll give you a hint and uh, hopefully you got the object, right? It's the account object. And so what field on the account object is going to trigger the flow to kick off? And hopefully you're thinking it's the account notes field. And that's exactly right. So we're going to pick record triggered flow and we'll create the record triggered flow. And for the object, as I just stated, uh, it will be the account record. And when should we trigger this flow? I guess, which of the four options? I think, and, and hopefully you're kind of thinking along these lines as well, that when an account record is updated, that's probably good enough. When a record is first created, at least an account record is first created, it's not likely that um, the notes, like there, there's not going to be any account notes there. And if there are, and an opportunity gets created, our other flow will handle that. So we don't actually need to fire this one uh, when the account gets created. The entry conditions will be um, that the account notes field and if we look at the operators, I think we could probably just use the it is changed. Um, you might also be able to add in an operator there that the account notes is not null. Um, but I'll leave that up to you as kind of a flow builder uh, choice. To actually trigger the flow, just a change in the account notes is probably sufficient. And so we'll say that the is changed is true. And by default, that will run for um, every time a record is updated and meets the condition requirements. And in this scenario, I'm not going to jump through it too fast, but we do need to update actions or, or perform an action or update a related record. In this case, we're updating related opportunities. So let's press done. And now, um, I guess we could actually save. So I'll call this um, account dash account notes updates ops. Probably descriptive enough for a name. We'll press save. And so now uh, we need to kind of configure the flow to update all our opportunities. So a few years ago, when we were approaching a flow like this, uh, just as we did in the first flow, we would probably have to build a loop, right? Like we would do a query, we would get all the opportunities, and we'd loop through them all and update the account notes, and then we would kind of do that update at the end. We no longer have to do that. And so that's why I'm showing you um, the solution as a flow. There's a couple ways to do this and you don't really need a flow to do it, but I really want to highlight this 
awesome feature of the Flow Builder that came out in one of the recent releases. So this is a really easy to build flow. It's so easy. So look, check this out. We're going to press add element. And you can see here, one of the shortcuts is update related records. So we can click that. And um, this allows us to define related records. And these are uh, records that are related to the account that triggered the flow. And you can see that here in the second option. And so we can say update opportunities. So all we have to do is pick the object that is related to our account. So we select in the records related to account uh, field. We use our global record variable, which represents the current account. And if we click that open, we'll see that um, we'll just ignore the top like options with all the lookups. If you look down below, you can see that there's a list of objects here. And what uh, this little icon next to it, I think it's a clipboard or maybe a cardboard box, uh, represents is that's the icon for a record collection variable inside the flow builder. And so you can see here that we have a record collection variable with the word cases next to it. And so this little collection would represent every case related to an account. And that's true of every object in this list. So if we go look, uh, we can see that there's a contacts object. And so if we clicked this, this would be a record collection variable of every contact related to our account. And that's the pattern for everything in this list, events, um, invoices, notes. And as we scroll down, we get to opportunities. And that's exactly what we need here because we're going to update the account notes on every opportunity related to the account. So we'll click that. And you can see that uh, we get some new options here where it says multiple opportunity records can be related to the account triggering record. If there are no filter conditions, all the records are updated. So the first step is to pick the object that we're updating. And in this case, we do, we do want to update every single opportunity. However, if you had a condition such as the stage does not equal close lost, the same way we can in other places inside the flow builder, we could define those conditions here. And you can get really advanced with the conditions. Um, so if you ever want to do that, <laughs> feel free. For now, we're just going to update all the related records and we will set the account notes field on the opportunity record to be equal to the account notes field on the, on the account. So I'm just going to click, well, I already selected the account notes field. And what I'll do next is um, use the global record variable for the account and just pick the account notes field. And so we'll press done and that's it. That's all we have to do. Um, no loops, no nothing. Uh, this really cool functionality came out in the last few releases. And so updating related records is a really great way for a parent object to update child records. Um, and it doesn't necessarily need to be a master detail relationship. So you, you saw there that contacts, which don't need to be related to accounts, um, often are, but don't need to be, uh, could be related by the account. So if you're ever in a situation where you need the flow to go, um, or you need a flow to go update related records, consider this as an option it's very powerful and very easy to use. So at any rate, we've configured that. I'm going to press save and we can just activate this and we'll just go test it out in the UI right away. So I'm going to go to the edge communications account and we have our notes test opportunity here with the account notes field. And that's different than the account notes field on the account. So I will make another change to the account notes field on the account. And we'll see what that does. Um, so I'll just, again, kind of copy the description. I'll say the company designs, designs devices. That's probably good enough. And we'll press save. And so we've now updated the account notes field on the account. If I go and look at the account notes here, um, we'll refresh this page. We should see that the notes have been updated and sure enough, our new text, the company designs devices came down to the opportunity. And if we go back to our edge communication ops list view, and we add in the field, the account notes field, just add that in. And I will uh, move it up here in the list above the opportunity notes. You can see that the account notes were propagated across all five of the opportunities related to the edge communications account. So that's it. That's the last flow we had to build and we tested it successfully. So great work.